adjectives are describing words. Suffixes. Are you all familiar with suffixes? What's a suffix? Don't know, okay, you do not know. Good. Put something Sorry, word. You can add the uh, 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 posty word like prefix and suffix. Hey, Prabhjit, go ahead, please explain. You said like so suffix is example come after the word, after something. And yes. something. Let 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 uh, uh -huh. hmm? yes, Prabhjit, go ahead. Okay, so I was saying there are two types of words, suffix and prefix. So suffix is something which will come after the word. Mm -hmm. And prefix is before that. So some letters that are added, right? Right. Can you give example? And, and can you give an example? For example, disadvantage. Okay, so an advantage we have. Which is? If I put this over here, then that's the opposite, right? This, this is the prefix. Prefix. Now give me a suffix to make it an adjective. Advantages. Advantages. Correct. Advantages is adjective. So the advantages of something are, it is advantages. If you do not use the cons, benefits, all such words, you can just restructure the sentence and it is advantages for us. You put it that way, then you paraphrase the word advantage. Right? This, so using a different form of the word is also a way of paraphrasing it, advantages. O-U-S, we put that. O-U-S means full of. So something is full of advantages. Uh, next one, manage. Manageable. 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 Right, Mandeep, manageable. Explore. Explorable. Explore. Explore and something that can be explored, but anything else? Let me go back to the others also. Gurpreet, you haven't uh, answered any? Exploration. Exploration is noun. Exploration of something. Exploring. Exploring. Exploring now. Explode. <laughs> okay, Shantanu. Explore. What can be the adjective for this? Explored. Explored. Ma'am, it can be. Explorer. Exploration. No, no, no. Those are not describing words. Yes, Neeraj? It's, it could be exploratory. Exploration. exploratory. Right. No, exploration is noun. Exploration is name of something. The exploration was done hmm? um, by the so and so, so and so. So, exploratory. Okay, Nira, Ex since you've given. Explorer, ma'am. Explorer. Explorer is also a noun, Ashwarya. Yeah, somebody is an explorer. Adjective is a describing word, it describes somebody or something, right? Okay. So, Neeraj, you've given the word exploratory. Could you use it in a sentence, please? So, the professor is working on uh, some exploratory research. Exploratory research, right. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Precaution. Precaution is noun. Take precaution, right? Before it's too late, you, you should take precautions. Precautionary. Like precautionary, right? That virus has spread everywhere. So, um, People are busy. Measure. Oh, very good. Precautionary measure. Let's move on to the next one. Impress. Impressive. 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 Can we have some other adjective also? Impress. Somebody impresses you, so the person is impressive. Any other way we can use the word? Impression. A, impression is noun. You leave an impression, right? It's a noun. You go somewhere, you're polite, you behave well, you leave an impression over there. Leave an impression on people there. You impress them with your behavior. <coughs> you're impressive. But is there any other word also that can be used as adjective for this impress? Anyone? Impressible? Impressive, 
impressionable impressionable yeah. Ad, yeah. Ad, admi admirable no no see admire is different impressionable children when we talk about children and we say that they should be like parent like parent you have so like many you have so many wait i'll have to mute my voice is going back to me oh what you should do is you should put yourself on mute after you've spoken otherwise my voice also echoes back at times so impressionable impressionable like you have so many essay topics on children parenting you have so parenting like children should be taken care of or maybe uh, parents should keep an eye on on what on the company of their children because what kind of age they are in impressionable that means the others will leave an impression on them right they can be impressed easily so they are impressionable they have impressionable minds abundance what can be the adjective for abundance abundant abundant correct kalyani abundant can you use it in a sentence please uh we have so many of uh, resources which are more abundant uh -huh. okay is kalyani correct she said which are more abundant mm, okay no all the abundant is all means more again i am using more over there hmm so not correct right so you have abundant resources yeah you have abundant resources i see had abundant fund to uh Do you know that? Abundant funds to support the government in crisis, financial crisis. Abundant funds. Or supporting the government in financial crisis. Sorry, Bandeep, I could not hear you clearly because. Ah. Uh, uh, LIC had abundant fund to support the government in financial crisis. We want to LIC had LIC has. Okay. right let's move on to the next one discern anyone who is familiar with the word discern find hari you have asked for the meaning something yes prabhjit to find or search something all right to find out something discern think about its meaning and let me know harish has asked harish which word would you like to know Abundance. Difficulty. Uh, Ma'am, please tell me about the meaning of the wording abundance, discern, passion. Abundance. Discern, passion. We have not done his Harish so far. Abundance means when you have plenty of something. Abundance, too much, right? Okay. Basically, we've got abundant resources. Some parts of India have abundant resources, right? Plenty. Okay. Now. people say that most of the people in our country are poor but there used to be a time in history when india was known for its abundance for its abundant resources right okay. abundant plenty plentiful or something discern we have just reached the word discern so Fa that's what facing any difficulty discern facing as it any difficulty no somebody else what does the word discern mean i could not discern the meaning of what she said uh, recognize or uh, right. find out recognize find, find out. out understand hmm? Hmm. discern so please noticing. use it noticing noticing mom notice okay all these are close yes who would like to use it in a sentence discern and give me adjective also give me an adjective for this discern Discernible. Discern something. Something that can be discerned. Fine. That is discernible. But uh, some other way. Can we use the word discerning also? And how do we use it? I noticed uh, something behind that scene. Huh, but the word discern has not been used. I discerned something over there. which is wrong no you you must discern between the truth and lies 
you yes gurpreet come again go ahead repeat please when we must discern between the truth and lies we should be able to discern the difference between truth and lies we must discern between the truth and lies right we we must be able to or we must discern the difference right correct passion the truth and lies right and passion if you have passion for something what does it mean like harish you asked me the meaning yes anyone if you have passion for something and what's the adjective form for it i am i am passion towards my job you cannot say i am passion towards my job you have passion for your job right you have i have passion for my job right ramnishant what can be the adjective for it fashionable Uh, no passionate 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 it's about something right? so if you are mm. asked about your hobbies and all you you are passionate about something right you can use passionate. that passionate about something so let's so advantage advantages manageable exploratory precautionary we had these words impressive impressionable abundant discerning qualities hmm, you should have then passionate are these words clear to everybody harish you asked me in between have you understood the meaning of all yes, those please. words that you've done so far yes but remember we need to use them correctly hmm, if you use them wrongly then you lose points for live online ielts classes by expert instructors log on to you know learning.com